Hey guys, FazD here. I thought I'd do a quick update. Um, I'm still working on this week's vlog, which is vlog 7. And instead, of, so instead of uploading nothing, I thought I'd upload the panel that I was a part of while I was in Scotland. Uh, it's the voice over, voice actors uh, script read of uh, My Little Pony Rainbow Rocks that was done by uh, Mark and John, who were the host of the panels. And uh, they were kind enough to let me be the third man in in their in their little troop uh, in their little group so uh, big props to them thanks for letting me take part again i do apologize about the audio and the video quality i was conserving as much memory as i could to try and record as much as it as i much of it as i could um it didn't get to record full of it but at least a pretty much 90 percent of the script reading is there so i hope you guys enjoy and hopefully i want to do this in two parts thanks again for watching I'm going to repeat that this year. Um, I'm playing Principal Luna, and I'm going to use uh, Boo Boo to his uh, Yogi Bear. Uh, I'm playing Arya, which I've decided to go for as uh, Little Karibo's Lord Frieza. Uh, another one is Flash Sentry, which uh, I've decided to go for as Orlando Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. And I'm playing a narrator, which I've decided to go for him from Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> and finally, I'm playing Mod Pie, but I think I'll leave that, you know, as a secret. But if you know uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, you'll know which guy I'm going for. <laughs> okay, Mark, you want to take it away? Okay. Uh, like last year, we split the narration, so I'm playing the narrator as well in the style of the Dragon Ball Z narrator, fit into the theme of it. And then I'm going to do Pinkie Pie with a similar voice to Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Uh, Rainbow Dash, like last year, I'm going to do Jason Griffith style of Sonic the Hedgehog, obviously a little bit exaggerated. With Principal Celestia, again like last year, Yogi Bear, as he said. Uh, an Adagio, an imperfect version of Perfect Cell's voice. It's a voice I really need to work on. And for Twilight Sparkle, I'm thinking Dragon Ball Z a bridge nap up. <laughs> How about you, Faz? Um, well, I only got more into this last week, so, sorry, next day, so. Um, I'm going to be doing Rarity as Vegeta. I'm going to be doing Applejack as Piccolo. I'm going to do Sonata as <coughs> and narrator, uh, a narrator. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Avatar series or Samurai Jack, but I'm going to be playing as Uncle Aero. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope you enjoy right. that, guys. Well, as you know, uh, Dragon Ball Z always starts with a recap of what previously happened. So that's what we're going to do. Play the video, maestro. Nope, that's the wrong one. Oh, no, 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 no. wrong one. I think it's uh, video two, EG1 recap. There we go. On the last episode of Pony Bill Z. Twilight Sparkle set off an ancient spell that brought Ponyville to the brink of annihilation. But at the end of her tether, Twilight found a way to break the curse and was reborn as an Alicorn princess. It should have been a time of celebration and adjustment. But when her guard was down, an evil known as Sunset Shiver returned to steal her element of harmony. Her plan was spoiled. But the crown ended up lost in another dimension, a topsy-turvy world with no magic. It was all down to a popularity contest. And I can ever imagine. Until Sunset cheated her way to victory, transforming herself into a she-demon, hell-bent on ruling Equestria, all hopes he lost. But at the last second, Twilight and her friends summoned the magic of friendship and stopped the evildoer in her tracks. Uh, I'm sorry. Not only that, but Sunset's personality was forever changed. Everything went back to normal. Or did it? Since Twilight left, magic has been affecting her friends in Canterlot High. What could be causing this lingering force? Will Twilight ever return to this world? Find out on today's exciting episode of Pony Bill Z.
All right, it's time to start. And if it's okay, I'll take the first narration. That's fine. All right. Hold on, I should point out that the narrators are going to be jumbled sometimes, so sometimes we might point to someone to say it's their time to be a narrator, just for future reference. Yeah. And remember, every time we say the word student, go like this. Hail Celestia! All right, we hope this doesn't run over time. Okay. Uh, just have to get to my hearing voice now. All right. Acts in the first. At the far end of town, where the grickle grass grows. A full moon dances from the night. Much like the friends we not long left, we follow down to cafe light, where peace and friendship are bereft. Bicker, bicker, curse and scorn. The patrons have no sense of tact, but none shall know the lack of grace will fuel a strange and wicked act. Around their feet a mist descends, guided by a siren call. To where three fiends feast on dissension, within a world they must see fall. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Good lord, that was barely worth the effort. I'm tired of fast food. I need a meal. The energy in this dimension isn't the same as our own. We can only gain so much power here. Ugh, I wish we behaved ourselves in death. That monkey sure knows how to punish the wicked, I'll give him that. We should at least be grateful to Barbary for these amulets. They keep us young and give us the means to become our true forms. I suppose. No, I did question the motive for creating a cloaking device that turns you into a teenage girl. Aria, you? Do you think that Aria's sexy? Oh yes, you're a regular RuPaul. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. Being stuck here with you two isn't making this world any more bearable. Just beyond yon clouded hills, Sella looks with mixed reply. Upward doth the dark storm rage to pierce a hole in the dark sky. He, roll, he runs outside my towns away. A spiral shoots its rain over the wind. His ruby necklace fills its prey. His smile speaks of this world too. Did you feel that? Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is, Arya? I thought he was Arya. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. That's, that's some of the most be Sonata. <laughs> Do you know what that is, Arya? You read it. You read it. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Ooh, is it a candy mountain? It's a high power level. But there's no one on this planet with a high power level. <laughs> there is now, and once we absorb it, it'll make all three of us perfect. Seas of colors flash and wave through and through. Intro we all thought was nice. The rest had better look as cool to justify the ticket price. Students! <laughs> <laughs> students chatter, students paint, in school where they once stood as slaves. To sunset shimmer, Eva plot before she learned how to behave. Solace lays in five new friends, but all bar them as quite unsure. That she is looking for her place, that she is finding a new alone. They show her poster formed with cake to signify their band inclusion. Enter all our principles to watch your minds in brilliant fusion. Oh, good afternoon, students! I just wanted to tell you all how pleased I am that so many of you are going to participate in the first ever Camelot High School Musical Showcase! We also wanted to remind you that Sunset Shimmer used to be a mean old fuzzy pants jerk because fixing the giant crater in front of the school didn't come cheap, uh, did it, Lasty? That's right, dear sister of mine, and since the truth was way too strange to believe, we weren't giving up penny for all the repairs! So we had to cut corners. A lot of stuff is gone now, except by popular vote, all classes that involve singing, dancing, and motocross. We're working on a way to combine all three. So keep working on those signs and posters, plug this thing like a video of a cat, and if you see anyone that looks like a magical terrorist, let one of us know immediately. That is all, students. <laughs> Grimace swells on every face, and sunset falls into her knees. Weak like pages in the rain of autumn leaves before the breeze. Tis so hard to drop the past when it can all easily poison thoughts. 
takes more than magic in this world for wicked deeds to be forgotten. Fed to the doorway, post a bowl, where six prepare for a wicked jab. Five console their newest friend, for she's distraught like slaughter hound. Oh, I'm never going to live that down. A demon, I turned into a raging she-demon. I tried to turn everyone here at the Phoenix Army's Bureau personal army. Oh, no. Oh, darling, you have us, and we've forgiven you for your past, um, booze. <laughs> to be honest, I'd say the whole experience brought everyone at Cantalot High closer than ever before. <laughs> Maybe my point would be better expressed for you, music. Nah, we played a song like a few minutes ago. We don't, why don't we do something that's not about friendship, like, I don't know, awesome as I want to be, conceited to the max, killing winter for a tortoise. <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, I'm all for anything that starts that amazing transformation. I still can't believe that happens when we play. Oh, I've got to look into some new accessories. Something that looks good in a longer ponytail. Ooh, maybe some clip-on earrings for when I get those adorable pony ears. <laughs> I just wonder why it happened. I just wonder why it happened. Princess Twilight took her crown back to Equestria. Shouldn't that mean she took all her magic back with her? Who cares why it happens? It makes my band totally awesome! Your band? Well, duh! I'm the captain just about everything! Give me a reason I shouldn't be saying it! For one, if you point your nose to the right, there's a scent of vanilla! That my rare chef ensemble had to be sacrificed for! Oh, Rarity, I'm only doing what the people expect! Part of being in a band is giving fuel to your fans' fantasies! Ugh. Whoa! I just got this weird chill down my back! Like a wind of collective size, brought on by a bland and pointless entity. Hello, fellow students! I heard your music from the hallway! You guys are sounding really tight, which I hope is the correct use of the phrase. Say, I don't suppose any of our friends from <coughs> out of town may be coming to the showcase? Uh, it being a special charity event and all. Sorry, Flash. I don't think Twilight's gonna be back at Catalan High anytime soon. But you do know she's got a human counterpart, right? It might be worth looking her up. Ha ha ha! Silly, Applejack! What would I want with a regular girl when the other Twilight is both cute and a magical pony princess? Why, she's every little boy's dream! Uh, I mean girl. Yeah, of course, girl! Well, if she's not here, then I shall go back to my non-plot-affecting activities. Whatever may be, be. Keep on rocking it! Quick question, Sunset. How did your old and rather terrifying son end up dating the rest of Gary Stu? Let's just say sympathy gets you far when you're an orphan. I'd say more, but I have to get going. I volunteered to show some new girls around the school. Probably be good for them to get to know the new me before they heard all the stuff about the old me. 